what was defining to me was the trucks <laughs> and the gray skies. You know, when you're a child growing up, you don't realize that isn't normal. All of these strange smells when you wake up and always hearing the trucks going down the freeway and boats from the port and hearing the trains. West Long Beach is part of the area that's known as the Diesel Death Zone. The World Health Organization has recognized diesel exhaust as a carcinogen. I think we've reached a point where we're recognizing that um, clean diesel just doesn't exist. To try and just make it a little bit better means that it's just going to take a little bit longer for people to die. And that's not good enough for our communities. All three of my children are asthmatic. That is something that I would not wish on anyone and I connect their poor health with the diesel pollution in our community. It's always shocking to people when we tell them how many trucks actually go by an elementary school. You know, over 300 trucks in one hour. It's unacceptable to be spewing these poisonous, cancerous emissions into our communities for our children to breathe. I live in the community of Manchester in the east end of Houston. It's one of the most polluted uh, communities within the city of Houston. It's completely surrounded by industry and rail yards, one of the busiest highways in Houston, which is a 610. I grew up with asthma. I had nosebleeds almost every day. I didn't understand that that was connected to the environment. The first time I heard about diesel being a carcinogen or even impacting my health, there was this huge conference in Kansas City, Missouri, and I realized they were going on a toxic tour, and <laughs> it's in our neighborhood. I know a lot of people with asthma and illnesses around here, and so that's when we were thinking, okay, we need to do something about this. And so we're asking for zero emissions, zero pollution that will eventually lead to zero asthma. No sick children! No sick children! Pollution doesn't recognize borders. If it impacts one person, then it impacts us all. We all deserve access to clean air. The technology exists. This is something that we could do. It just all it takes is political willpower and some courage. The campaign is an effort to push on every level to make sure that the voices of our families are heard in those places of power. It's something that's doable now. 